Good morning. We've got a darts tournament today. Uh, it starts in about three hours. So I need to eat. Come here. Come here. Come here. I need to get Luna some exercise, but she just wants to run around me today. And uh, then we just go get warmed up. And go and play. Come here. Come here. Come on. That's tired dog, kind of. It takes a lot. Also, what's super exciting at the moment is um, the baby, our baby, is due in literally just over a week. So the baby could come at literally any time now. Um, but we've just got like, we've just got so many like baby things just everywhere, all around the house. We've got like blankets, um, baby grows, dummies, bottles, mats, like baby mats, car seats, prams. We've got like everything. We've got so many gadgets. Um, I'm super excited. <clears throat> I'm super excited to be a dad. Obviously, um, I ca I cannot wait. Uh, baby could come today. <laughs> we just don't know. Um, but hopefully, it comes. If it does come today, it comes after I've, I've won a game. Then I, then I can leave, and then we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. But I feel like the house is just going to become the baby's house, like straight away. Everything is just going to be babyfied. At the moment, a lot of the house is just Luna, Luna stuff. Like we do have, we have to have Luna stuff, like, like like antlers and stuff, just lying around everywhere. Um, so yeah, if you've ever been a parent or if you've recently been a parent, let me know. Is that is that the case? Because I feel like that is about to be the case. Can we just um, document that this is the first and only time you'll probably see the darts referee driving himself to a darts tournament. <laughs> I'm. 10 weeks before I'm due to give birth. No, 10, ten days. days. 10 days. Ten day. And it was only yesterday when we went to town and Jack was like, do you want me to drive? And I was like, yes, please. So here he is. Take note. I'd just like to say for the record, <laughs> Bob's loves driving and I hate driving. But I'm now uncomfortable. Okay, well then I'll drive from now on then. <laughs> I, can, I can drive, it's <laughs> my car. I just don't like driving. <clears throat> but yeah, we're on the way to uh, Pot Black. And um, yeah, hopefully we do all right. Hopefully I'm not rubbish today. Uh, I've been practicing quite a bit to be honest, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on. But anyway, let's let's go.
see ya. I think that's him. Yeah. First up. You'll start, mate. All the best. Just quickly while you're watching this as well, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We are on track to hit it by the end of the year, but I'm going to need your guys' help. If you do enjoy this video and you want to see me do more stuff like this and you want to see videos of me going to tournaments and if you've got any other ideas, please let me know. But please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Over 60% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of them, just double check, hit the sub. It costs absolutely nothing. It's completely free free and a hundred thousand subs man I, i've been dreaming of this since i was a kid maybe not a kid but since i was late teens <laughs> i've been dreaming of this for a long time so yeah if you wouldn't mind hit the subscribe button and it would mean the absolute world okay so this was the first game of the day and to be honest i didn't play too badly i just you just saw the nearest the bullseye and uh <laughs> the nearest the bullseye was not very good uh, i did miss it by a fair way um but we did manage to win the first leg um my scoring wasn't great in the first leg but i finished really quickly uh, i wanted 60 um in the first leg to win it and i went single 20 went for a tops hit the double double five and then hit double 15 next start so we did 60 and three which was nice nice to just get a leg on the board for the day uh that can sometimes be the hardest part the second leg we actually played probably pretty good actually i was really happy with the second leg um i scored well i think i hit a 135 and a 134 um and then we finished i can't remember what i actually finished on this and the second leg um but the second leg we won that one comfortably we were like miles in front and we checked out so that was nice to get one of those under my belt and then the third leg again scored all right like it was 60 85 81 45 the odd 26 maybe here and there but the the, the third leg i scored well and then i left tops i think i messed around on tops ended up leaving double five i think i missed nine straight darts at double five before my opponent got down to a finish and then he got down to a finish and then i managed to pip it right at the end which was lovely so that was the first win i've ever had in competitive left-handed darts it was a three nil win it was reasonably convincing as well i think he might have had a couple of darts at a double in the first leg but other than that i don't think he had any more um which is good so yeah i'm really happy with it Hey. Thank you, mate. Right, Cheers. Okay. right, I've just won my first ever competitive game of darts left-handed. So I'm super happy. Um, the last two games in my group are quite difficult games. Um, they're both better players than I am, but you just never know with darts. I could go through this group and I could get to the, to the knockout stages. That's one down, two to go. Hopefully, we win one out of the next two. That would be ideal, but... I, I'm, I'm not setting my heights, my uh, expectations too high today. So a win is a win, and I'm very happy with a win. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to finally get, like, an actual win under my belt, left-handed. Like, in person, real darts, no streams, no lives, no nothing. This is, like, legit darts, so I'm very happy. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank fuck for that. Finally, we've got one. So, my next two games come round, and uh, it was a bit unfortunate, really, for filming-wise, because the way that the draw worked out, because there was only, like, four people in our group, but there was five in the other group, um, the draw worked out in a way that I had to play, and then I had a gap, and then I played, and then I had a gap. So, the last few games, I'll tell you now, I didn't win either of them, but the last few games, it was play chalk play chalk and then go home so i didn't really have any chance to sort of film anything other than me playing really so the first game was against was against a guy called ben um he plays super league i'm pretty sure so he's a, he's a handy dart player and I, I went into that game like not expecting to win it but i thought i i would be good enough to maybe get a result um the first leg i missed two darts at tops to break the throw which was a bit annoying uh and i i kind of like i messed up a bit as well i think i i think it took me about six darts to get from about 80 odd down to an actual like a dart at a double which obviously sucks um not ideal i had plenty of chance in that first leg to sort of take it and i had two darts to take it and i missed them both second leg i checked out 58 in two which was nice third leg i can't remember what happened in the third leg i think, I think the third leg he just battered me i don't think i was really in the third leg too much and then the fourth leg i think i had six darts to to win it and go two two and um we 
we did not we did not win it and go to two we ended up losing three one so i got got another leg which is not awful but looking back at that game it was a bit annoying i could have definitely got more of a result out of that one and then at that point i had to play against a guy called alan who i've played hundreds of times i've been playing darts against alan since i was about i don't know 11 or 12 years old um He's a good player. He's a handy dart player. He doesn't play Super League or anything, but he's more than good enough to play Super League. And yeah, I just I didn't really give him too much of a game. It was it was another un it was another annoying game where I didn't play awful, but I didn't play well enough. Um the first leg I had lots of darts sort of like all round the treble that just didn't drop in. Um I led the led the first leg for the majority of, 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 of the first leg and then kind of like let it slip at the end and he went out. And then it was my hold of throw and he left I think he left thirty six after twelve and then he went out in like sixteen or seventeen, I think. And that was my hold of throw. That was my chance to get a leg and he had a, he put in a really good leg. And then the last leg, again, got down to a finish. Don't think I had a shot at it, though. So it wasn't the best game, but it, he's a good player. So it's it's one of those. I wasn't expecting to win either of, the, either of these two games. I was kind of like just happy that I managed to get one win under my belt. Um, so we ended up, ended up finishing the group uh, in third place out of fourth, which means that obviously top two go through. So we did not qualify to the knockout stages, but we've done all right. Um, it was it was nice. It was a good day. Um, and one thing I will say as well is it's nice to the thing the, like one of my biggest issues with playing darts has always been alcohol. And it was really nice today, actually. I had I only had three pints and I felt like I didn't need them because I've always used alcohol to give myself confidence when I'm playing darts and when I've had dartitis on and off all the time the alcohol kind of like helps me eliminate that part of my game so it was really nice just to play darts kind of like without the need of alcohol like I did have a couple of drinks and I did enjoy having a few drinks with my friends but I didn't feel like I needed it so yeah looking forward I think two maybe three pints i can get away with it can still play sort of like the best starts i can left-handed which is like such a relief as well because when you kind of like get to the point where you're almost relying on alcohol to play darts it makes the game so much less fun so it was yeah that was that's another thing about left-handed that i'm really enjoying as well is not that is is the lack of n need to drink i don't have to drink to play darts at the moment which is really nice because to be completely honest, I don't really enjoy getting drunk, to be honest. It's not like my favourite thing in the world. If I'm if I'm on a night out or something and the the goal of the night is to have a good night and you know, you're with your mates and you're, you're buying rounds and stuff, then yeah, that's all good. I do like a drink, but when I'm playing darts, I just feel like it's unnecessary. So it's nice to be able to only have a two or three drinks and still be able to play what I would consider the best I can left-handed. At no point today did I feel nervous. At no no point today did I throw any really loose, nervy darts. Um, they were just not great darts. The ones that didn't go in were just not good enough. Um, but I didn't feel nervous. I didn't shake at all, which is like a really it's so nice. Honestly, it's such a good good thing. This whole left-handed, I think I think it's great for me. So. Yeah, didn't get through the group, but did enjoy myself. And it was a good tournament, well-run tournament. And you can't ask for much more than that. As long as you're enjoying what you're doing, which I am at the moment, and you're enjoying playing, which I am at the moment, and you're sort of seeing improvements, which I am at the moment. It's all good. It's all positives. And I just can't wait for... I, I just, I just like, I'm, I'm sat here editing this video. I'm looking at my dartboard and I'm like, it is currently half past midnight on a Sunday night, on a, uh, a Sunday morning, Saturday night, I've got WrestleMania on and I just want to throw some darts while I watch the wrestling. Uh, I'm not really that into wrestling, so don't, don't, uh, don't ask me too many questions in the comments about wrestling. But um, yeah, it's, it was a good day. I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. We ended up going for a Toby, Toby Carvery after as well. So that was, that was lovely. But yeah. <laughs> She's coming in. 
And just like that, we are back at home. Um, we went out for a Toby Carvery, and Bob's and her sister come and picked me up, and we went out for a Toby Carvery, which was very, very nice. It was very filling. I, th- it's just such a large amount of food, man. I was, I was so tired, so I had a little sleep, and uh, yeah. But we got our first win, which is great, and tonight we're going to try and edit this video for tomorrow, and we're going to attempt to stay up for as much of WrestleMania night one as possible. I'm not really that into wrestling, but I do try and watch WrestleMania. So anyway, let me know your thoughts of this video in the comments, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.